pipe bomb. No, no. I have a friend named Ed, and he used to make pipe bombs when we were kids. Now, kids, I think meaning kids, we were in high school, sophomores in high school. Maybe, maybe junior high, I don't recall, but, you know, I didn't really know what a pipe bomb was. I had, I, I thought it was like a big firecracker. I, have, I had no idea what a pipe bomb was. So anyway, I go over to this, my friend's Ed's house one day. He's going, and, and he had lit off another pipe bomb with my other friend. And I go, what's that pipe bomb thing that you've been telling, talking about? He goes out and shows me. He goes, he shows me what, what it was. I'm not going to describe it too much other than that he showed me what he did and how he made, made him and stuff. And he goes, you want to go light one? I'm going, I don't know. I guess. I have no idea. So anyway, we go up in the foothills above his house into this big, it's like a, it's like a big reservoir of um, where the water is kept. Like water comes down the mountain and it, and it gets collected in a water reservoir, a big like a big pond. So it was down below um, where anything could be damaged, like people's houses. We were a long ways away from houses. We were a long ways away from, you know, areas where it would hurt. And I didn't really know what, what, he, what he was going to do and how it worked. I didn't understand it because I just thought it was like a big firecracker, which, which was a huge firecracker. But anyway, so I went up there with him and and I, and I got, he says, you better get down behind that rock. So I got down behind this big, gigantic boulder. And then he lights it and runs. And as he runs, he jumps and dives behind the rock with me. And boom, this pipe bomb goes off. And, I'll, and I hear this, this chunk of steel fly past our heads above the rock. I'm like, holy hell, that's not safe. I ain't doing that again. Man, if my dad knew I was doing this, he'd kick my butt. And I thought, pipe bombs from now on? No, no, no way, man. I, I stayed a heck away from that. Anyway, I didn't know what they were all about, but I, I learned real quick that that they could kill you. You know, like a, a firecracker blows up and it's just got paper. Uh, M80s, we used to have M80s when we were kids. They are about as big as your thumb. And they made a big old explosion. They were cool. They, had, they also had these things called um, cherry bombs. Looked like a, a red cherry, just a, re a red ball with a wick in it. And they, and they were good. They were, they'd were blow up and they were good. The M M80s were pretty good. In fact, the same guy, Ed, brought back from his mission, brought some some big old M80s from from Mexico when he went on his mission down there. And, and they were big old firecrackers, big old M80s. They were really cool. But this pipe bomb, I thought, holy crap. Nowadays, if you lit a pipe bomb, you'd get... I think you get put in prison or you get put in jail. I just know that there's, I just know that pipe bombs are extremely like federally illegal. So, and especially, and they're especially dangerous. So stay the heck away from pipe bombs. Never, ever do that. There's, there's fun ways to have fun and fireworks are good if they're safe. I think firecrackers are no big deal. They could, I guess they could snap your fingers and stuff like that, but but anyway, the best thing to do is to be very safe with safe with that kind of stuff under adult supervision. So